Next to me right now is Dmitry Vushnik, uh, the PR, the main PR guy of Mazda Slovenia. Dmitry, hi. Hi, everybody. Uh, we're driving together because uh, I'd like to have a little bit of information about a couple of Mazda systems like the uh, Mazda Sky Active technology, for example, because I always thought that uh, the Sky Active technology was interesting since Mazda gives you a petrol engine but doesn't actually give you a turbocharged petrol engine like most other badges nowadays want to do. If it's a petrol, it has to have a turbocharger. How's that? Well, we are not including any turbochargers because we are too stingy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, we've been talking now for a couple of years about uh, the importance of right-sizing engines. And that's the point that we want to make. We are right-sizing our engines. We don't have those little engines. Uh, we have 2.0 gasoline engines, 1.50 gasoline engines. And those are the engines that don't need any tur turbocharging at all. So there's no downsizing, there's right-sizing. Right-sizing, yes. Uh, but you said that uh, the Sky Active technology isn't just uh, concentrated on engines, it's also the whole design logic of uh, the Mazda cars, the lightness, the uh, yes. how they're made. Yes, it's much more than only the engines, because under the Sky Active technology we understand new body that is stiffer and lighter, new chassis that are more responsive and also new engines and transmissions that that is every everything is under that sky active technology umbrella and that started uh, the the design logic started in 2012 with the uh, cx5 yes exactly we started from from scratch and the first vehicle was presented in 2012 it was the all new mazda cx5 and with the sky active technology mazda reiterates that lightness of a car is very very important both for economy and driving uh, capabilities absolutely economy nowadays is extremely important we want to have cars also as individuals that are that are i would say nicer to the environment and of course light car is also much nicer to drive you don't have to have 300 horsepower if you have a light car. Like the uh, MX-5, for example, which is a diamond, a, a gem of a car to drive, exactly because it's so light. And it's so responsive. Yes. You get the right amount of feedback at the right time. And, and, and that's it. Jim by Tai. Jim by Tai. Jim by Tai. It means horse and rider as one. And that is also Mazda, Mazda's philosophy in making, developing cars. We want to driver and the car be like one, so they can enjoy their time together even more. So, if we if we touch upon um, the other thing now that I wanted to talk about, right now we're driving in the CX3 with the all-wheel drive system. <laughs> <laughs> We, uh, when we drove the Mazda 6 with the all-wheel dri uh, all drive system, we were quite surprised by how exactly responsive and nice it was to drive on snow. So, I think you said that Mazda employs about 800,000 sensors to sense what the car does, what the surface <laughs> is like, and so on and so forth, uh, to make sure that the car stays on course. Yeah. How does that work? Uh, now, you really see that we went that extra mile, but okay. Uh, we don't have those 800,000 sensors, we have only 27, <laughs> but they are really, really important. We want to achieve that our all-wheel drive system works when it's needed. So the, the driver gets the power to the rear wheels when it's needed. And more than that, with those sensors, we can diverse the power to the back before they're actually a slip of front tires. How does that work? Yeah, those sensors you would uh, deploy uh, the wipers. The wipers, yes, and the system would send message 
to the main computer, that there's probably there, there are probably wet conditions on the road. And while driving through corners, some of the power would be automatically redirected to the rear, just to make the vehicle more stable and more fun to drive. So that's really interesting. So basically, Mazda, by, by looking at what the wipers are doing and so on and so forth, what the driver is actually doing is predicting the future, how slippery the road might be. Yes, but we are pre only predicting the future for the roads. So don't, we cannot give you any information how to invest your money oh. wisely to be a millionaire next year. So, Damn. so we are only for your safety in our cars. That's it. I was really hoping to buy a Mazda 6 all-wheel drive and be a millionaire within two years. Oh, you can buy one. <laughs> no problem at all. <laughs> well, that's true. You don't have to be a millionaire to buy a Mazda 6 because exactly. it's actually very nicely priced. Well, anyway, um, Dimitri, thank you very much for the explanation. Thank you.